Hey everyone, Cy Venom here. Now today, customers need the ability to run workloads in on-premises and edge environments for a number of different reasons. These include things like data residency requirements, low latency, or simply because their workloads need to be co-located. EKS Anywhere is an open source solution to enable customers to run Kubernetes clusters on their own infrastructure. Now, while EKS Anywhere is open source and free to use, you can also get support directly from AWS through a subscription. Now, today I'm excited to announce that we've added support for bare metal. This comes in addition to our support for VMware vSphere. But how exactly does this work? So let's take a look at EKS on AWS Public Cloud. You'll notice that the control plane is managed for you, running in an AWS VPC. Really, you're responsible for your container workloads, in this case running on EC2 within your VPC. Now with EKS Anywhere, the control plane and the worker nodes, as well as the underlying infrastructure are managed by you. And here's where EKS Anywhere comes in with an integrated set of tooling based on open source technologies to help you do just that. And now we've added support for bare metal as well. But what exactly is bare metal? Well, at some point, all servers could be considered bare metal, but with innovations like virtualization, uh, we paved the way for things like cloud computing. But for a lot of customers, they continue to use bare metal to run their workloads. And so let's kind of see how exactly it would work as an operator that wants to deploy Kubernetes clusters on a bare metal environment. Now, if you're familiar with running things like, uh, writing things like Kubernetes resources, deployments, services, that kind of thing with YAML, you should also be able to manage Kubernetes clusters as well as the bare metal environments themselves. You'll need two things here. You'll need to define an inventory file that kind of defines the bare metal resources themselves as well as a cluster configuration. Now, these things will be passed into the EKS CTL, which is a CLI for not only managing your EKS clusters, but also your EKS Anywhere environments. Then that in turn will be able to communicate with your bare metal environment. Now, critically, there's two things that this will support. Uh, and number one, it's gonna support the provisioning of the bare metal servers themselves. Um, and then also the second main thing here is to manage the life cycle of Kubernetes clusters in that environment. Now, if you want to get started today, you can check out the description for a link to a tutorial to get started. And uh, we also have a full list of validated hardware vendors that you can find there as well. Now, I hope you found this video helpful and be sure to subscribe to watch more videos like this in the future.